science is about finding out about the natural world. And one of the things in the natural world is flight. So today we're going to make paper airplanes and talk about the four forces of flight that have to be in balance for a plane, even a paper airplane, to fly. We will need some sheets of copy paper. So first you fold the paper in half and it's very important that you crease the paper. Nice hard crease. And parents and, and teachers can help you with all the folding. But we'll give you some instructions. The next one is to fold a triangle along the middle fold. Again, the crease is important. So an adult can help you line it up and you can be the creaser. Now I have two triangles. I'm gonna make those two triangles four triangles because I'm gonna make this triangle another triangle. I wanna make sure the nose stays nice and thin so it can fly through the air and not create too much drag. I'm gonna match this folding to here. So now, I'm going to take my plane and fold it in half. So I'm almost done, but I want to make sure all my creases are good. Now I'm going to fold this in another kind of triangle, following the line. Turn it over, do another line, and now watch open it up, I'm going to have a dart airplane, just like that. And you know, they call it a dart airplane because when you throw it, you throw it like a dart. There's four forces of flight that have to be in balance for any airplane to fly. Lift, thrust, drag, and weight. Lift is the air under the wings. Thrust is what's maneuvering or powering the airplane. Drag is the air that's going over the top, and that's why all airplanes that you see when they're flying outside, all airplanes have noses that are thin, and they have wings so that they can lift the airplane. And there's weight, and that comes from gravity and from the weight of the plane itself wants to make it go down. So let's fly our plane.